In this video, I will be reviewing two kinds of spray paint that we've recently used for woodworking projects, and I'll let you know which one of those two I would recommend that you use for your woodworking projects as well. We're going to cover a lot of material, and along the way, we're going to also use the Dark Art Math make sure that we're making the right investments with our money. And I want to share something with you. I don't share this with everyone, but I'm sharing it with you, devoted viewer. I have in my possession an elder wand. Yes, I know what you're wondering. How did he get an elder wand? It's very simple. It was only $30. And I'm sure that it's the only one in existence. I mean, if you had an all-powerful wand, wouldn't you just charge $30 for it too? Contender number one, that is this Rylon paint. This Rylon paint is going to be going up against this Rust-Oleum paint. And I'm going to show you some before and after pictures of these projects that we use this paint on, and you get to be the deciding judge in which one of these is better. So this picture that you're seeing here is the before picture of this end table that we used the Rylon paint on. We converted this uh, former table desk into a coffee bar, and as you can see, this is the before image of it. It's obviously stained, and we'll be applying the spray paint directly over that stain without sanding it or doing anything to it. I've crunched some numbers using the dark arts of math, and I believe that we're looking at around 15 to 20 square feet of surface here on this table. So that'll become important when I start talking through the comparisons of the paint and how much paint it took to cover each item. It took roughly one and a half to two coats in order to coat all of the surface area. And once again, I estimate with it being about two coats, you're looking at about 30 to 40 square feet. I do try to be conservative with my estimates, not trying to lead people astray. But overall, the finish looks uh, pretty good. We're happy with how the finish looks. We're just a little bit disappointed with how much paint it took to actually coat the surface. That was not uh, desirable. We were hoping to maybe get a little bit um, more paint out of each can. Um, what you can see underneath, look how beautiful that is. There's a little spot there where a screw needs to be tightened up to hide that, that point. But overall, we are happy with, with how it looks. The biggest disappointment to us was just the amount of paint that it took in order to get a good good coverage and good finish. So this is the before picture of the dresser. We painted this dresser with the Rust-Oleum spray paint. So in the after picture, you'll see that. I estimate that this is around 25 to 30 square feet. And keep in mind, I always try to be a little bit um, conservative with my estimates. So I'll estimate high or estimate low to try to give you a good representation of, of the coverage. But all that to say, you can tell that the base coat of this was white paint, and we did not sand this paint off. We applied the spray paint directly over uh, these surfaces. So now what you're seeing is the after photo of the dresser itself. We're very happy with how this turned out. It took right at a can and a half in order to coat all of this surface area. So we're very happy with the amount of paint that it took to be able to get good coverage. We're also very happy with the final product. We did apply a, a coat of clear coat over it to protect it because we have children and they will probably draw on this at some point in their life. So using the dark art of math, I've determined that both of these projects cost around $8 to complete. The difference is if you're doing larger scale projects, obviously I would assume that you could save, you could save more money by using Rust-Oleum over using the Krylon simply from the initial cost. So based on the footage that you saw, hopefully you're able to make your own opinion about which paint you like better. Uh, maybe you've had a good experience with one of these paints or the other and, and want to leave that in the comments below. Overall, we liked, and let me make sure I'm grabbing the right can, we like the Rust-Oleum the best. We are very happy with that final product. Once again, these tests were not performed in a laboratory. They are performed in our basement, and the base uh, layers, I guess you might say, of the stain and paint were different from project to project. So that might have affected the outcome a little bit, but overall we were very happy with the Rust-Oleum and how that project, the dresser, turned out. So, all that to say, 
If you have stuck around to this point in the video, I would ask that you comment, like, like, subscribe, comment, and hopefully join me for another video next week. Next week we're going to be starting on a project that is very critical for me at this time. I will be building a desk. Stay tuned. Yeah. No one's going to see that because no one watches to the end of the video. See what you're missing out on? <laughs> <laughs>